Beauty in Black is Tyler Perry's latest venture into the world of drama, of course, set to premiere on Netflix on October the 24th. The 16 episode series produced under Tyler's deal with Netflix will be released in two parts. Now I'm going to begin my trailer review with all the technical stuff, right? And then I'll get to the frame by frame breakdown at the end. So stay tuned for that. Now, the first eight episodes are very highly anticipated, with the release date of the second half still to be announced. This show marks Tyler's first collaboration with Netflix on a drama series, and it promises to deliver the gripping storytelling that we, his fans, have come to expect. The show follows two main characters, Kimmy and Mallory, who live very different lives, but they find themselves intertwined in this web of sex, scandal, and corporate intrigue. Now, Kimmy played by like Taylor Polidor Williams is a young woman who struggles to make ends meet after being kicked out by her mom. Now she works as a stripper and lives in a shady motel that reflects her difficult circumstance. And on the other hand, Mallory, played by Crystal Stewart, is a successful businesswoman running her family's beauty empire. Despite their different paths, the two women are drawn together as all the drama unfolds. And from what I can gather from what I know so far, Kimmy's life takes this dramatic turn when she meets Horace, played by Rico Ross, at the strip club where she works. Now this chance encounters introduces her to Horace's wealthy but dysfunctional family, which sets the stage for Kimmy's entry into a world of high stakes business and dangerous secret. And again, from what I know, I think that this is going to have something to do with a lot of traffic lights, <clears throat> if you will. In the trailer, Kimmy's bold attitude is quite obvious when she confronts Horace, telling him, you think this is a game? I'm in. Like, don't play with me. <laughs> this moment signals her decision to step into a world that could either make or break her. As Kimmy becomes involved in Horace's life, Mallory's world is also shaken up. Mallory, who's been managing her family's beauty business with apparent ease so far, finds herself facing a new threat to her empire. In one tense scene from the trailer, Mallory is seen sitting in the back of a limousine, demanding to know who's behind the challenges that she's suddenly facing. The dynamic between Kimmy and Mallory is said to be one of the most compelling aspects of the series as both women are driven by their own desires and ambitions. The show's themes of power, control, and the lengths that people will go to in order to protect what they have are classic Perry tropes, right? But Beauty in Black takes a fresh approach by placing these elements in the context of two women with very different life experiences. The contrast between Kimmy's underdog struggle and Mallory's affluent lifestyle, it creates a tension that is likely to captivate us and get us all in our feelings because we know how some of this is gonna play out, right? And Tyler Perry himself has commented on this dynamic, noting that one of the key takeaways from part one of the series is to never underestimate the power of the underdog. Tyler has also hinted that the idea for Beauty in Black came from the collision of two very different worlds, the world of strippers and the world of high-end hair care businesses. The proximity of these two environments, it adds an extra layer of intrigue to the show, as viewers can expect to see the clash of not just characters, but entire lifestyles. The cast of Beauty in Black is filled with talented actors who will definitely help bring the story to life. In addition to Williams and Stewart, the series features Amber Rain Smith as Rain, Rico Ross as Horace, Debbie Morgan as Olivia, Richard Lawson as Norman, Stephen G. Norfleet as Charles, Julian Horton as Roy, Terrell Cotter as Varney, and many others. Now, I also have to mention that our beloved Lewis is in the series. Lewis from Ruthless. <laughs> Also, it looks like Madison, Sister Maddie, she all up and through. And this guy right here, I can't remember what he played on, but his face is very familiar. I know, I'm sure y'all are gonna drop the notes in the comments, so let me know. I'm having a blonde moment right now. <laughs> 
While the plot of Beauty and Black promises plenty of twists and turns, it's the characters and their personal journeys that will likely resonate most with viewers. Kimmy's struggle to survive in a world that seems to be against her is very familiar. It's a familiar narrative, but Tyler's ability to portray her resilience and determination is what's going to make her story stand out. Similarly, Mallory's fight to maintain her power and control over her family's business adds yet another layer of intrigue, and we're going to see just how far she's willing to go to protect it. Now, one of the most exciting aspects of Beauty in Black is how it's going to showcase Tyler's signature style of blending drama with social commentary. The show promises to explore important issues such as class, power, and ambition, all while keeping us at the edge of our seats with its high stakes plot lines. Now, Tyler's work often highlights the complexities of human relationships, right? And Beauty in Black appears to be no different. The tension between Kimmy and Mallory will likely be the driving force behind much of the drama as we're going to see both of these women navigate a world where their survival depends on outsmarting those around them. Now let's talk about some of these frames here that we may have missed in the trailer. Y'all, who, who does he remind us of? Just just go ahead and say it. Don't, don't be scared. Go ahead and say it. He looks like Duda. <laughs> I don't know. He has the demeanor. I mean, the hair, the brown glass of liquor. <laughs> That's Duda. It's Duda reincarnated. <laughs> And I wanted to kind of talk about this uh, frame right here where we see her sitting on the bed. It looks like they may be in her motel room and she's talking to Horace and she says that she wants to do more than survive, which, you know, lets us know that, you know, she's she's ready for some more money, number one, and she's probably willing to do uh, anything for it, right? So I think that, I don't know, I just see her going into their home and seeing something that she wasn't supposed to see. So this may just leave her in a position to where she either has to get down with whatever they're doing or they're going to have to get rid of her. And I don't know if this is what's actually going to happen, but this is just what's in my spirit. And another frame here that we can talk about, it looks like this is a strip club for both men and women. I mean, shot it back there, got his clothes all <laughs> whining and grinding. Then we see someone getting beat up. Of course, we've got to have a fight scene. And then there may be some sort of political aspect to the story. We see people picketing. We see police officers. Then another frame I wanted to talk about is here with um, Mr. Lawson. He's in the hospital with somebody. I don't know, but it looks like Debbie Morgan <laughs> may be his wife in this series as well. And she said that she came to pray with him. And he said, you know, you think God listens to you? <laughs> Like, are you serious? So maybe he's a non-believer. I don't know. And we don't know who this person is. The trailer doesn't really give us a whole lot, but it does give us a lot without saying it. But we have enough information for the first part of the series, the first eight episodes. It's definitely enough to build the tension between the gap because there's going to be a gap. There's going to be part one and then there's going to be, I don't know, a little time, I guess the mid-season, something. I don't know. The they were doing series so different these days. I don't know, but there's going to be a gap between parts one and part two. But that's it, you guys. In conclusion, Beauty in Black, it's shaping up to be one of the most exciting new drama series for the fall with its powerful performances, engaging plot, and thought-provoking themes. It's sure to captivate audiences and leave us eagerly waiting for the release of part two. Tyler Perry's ability to craft compelling narratives centered around strong characters remain unmatched, and Beauty in Black is a testament to his enduring talent as a storyteller. Wouldn't you agree? Well, of course you do. <laughs> We love Tyler Perry. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today to Ruthless TV. And I'm going to see you on the next one.